as I'm trying to convert some files in bulk to uh, from uh, docx and doc to text, I decided to go ahead and record this so that I could remember and you may find it useful as well. So you can see the script here is one that I found from this blog on TextNet and then I've adapted it for my specific purposes. So I think I might have changed uh, this part here specifically to identify the number that is the word format for text. So I'm going to try to go through this relatively quickly. Uh, I'm going to run the Windows PowerShell as administrator. Let me drag this down into here. So it takes me into the Windows system. I don't know that that's particularly relevant. But the first thing that I'll do is uh, it seems that the policy restricts what I'm able to run. So I'm first going to get the execution policy to check what it is. And all signed seems to restrict it to approved policies, um, or only to run things that are approved. And so to allow me to run my own script, I need to set it as unrestricted. The scope, I'm just going to do it for the current user. And I wish I could do it just for the current session. Uh, but this seems to be the simplest way that I found. And if you want to see the reference for those, what the uh, other options are besides unrestricted, all signed, etc. Let me check there. Let me run this. And I will say, yes, I want to change the execution policy. See my instructions here. I've commented all these out, but this, uh, this reminds me of what to do each time I use it because otherwise I forget. Uh, I don't do it often enough. So I clicked, I did yes. Uh, this is not required, but I like to get it again and just see, okay, it did change. Now it's unrestricted. Now I go to where I have the PowerShell script saved. And oh, here we are. Actually, I'm not going to pull it in here because I have some other files and folders that I don't want to show. Um, but I have it in just my oops, C directory. And I wanted to be able to test it and find it again. And so I just called it, called it a converter folder. And this is where I have the power uh, shell script. So this script that you see open here is in this folder. So I switched to this folder. Uh, I had been running this with an output folder right there in the converter folder, but since you tell it where to find that output folder, I have everything on my desktop. So I'm actually going to have the path to folder and a different folder all on the desktop. So let's see if I remember where to find everything. So the name of my power skipped convert the thing that has tripped me up the most times has been just plain mistyping this. And it has an extension of PS1. So first doc path. And then I have it on the desktop. So that's users me. And then I called it TCE doc X, because that's where I'm coming from. And then I want to do it the two path. So that's the TXT path. And since most of this is the same, I'm going to copy it. And it does let me paste in the PowerShell. And then I called it a TXT folder. And I must have mistyped. Oh, it's a desktop. I do have to put the desktop in there. Like I said, I always mistype something. Try this again. Processing. Processing. 
processing. So that should have converted everything. Let me check. All right, had to go where I opened it. And there it is. So it's all the text files that were converted from, I had to go out and find it again, from these docx files. And I'll stop there. Oh, I almost forgot, and I don't want to forget this part. So since I had set the policies, I want to change them back. Let me just come down here and remind myself. Uh, so I want to change it back to all signed, and then I can exit. So I'm going to come back to the PowerShell. And since I'd already typed it, I'm just going to come back in here to where I change it to unrestricted. And I had all signed before, capitals in all the same place. And yes, I do want to change it. And since I like to double check, double check, I will get it and we're back at all signed. Excellent. And now I will exit. And that's where I'll stop.